<laughs> right, uh, we don't have destructions and we're rolling. Right, this is... To, uh, hold on, are we supposed to be rolling? Yeah, no. No, stop, stop, stop. Stop, please. Thank you. This is the 8th and choice of Falmouth Loco. Due to an increasing wagon demand at Falmouth Docks, a number of goods wagons have been shunted into the consist. Before you depart, you must board the passengers here at wherever it is we are. Thank you. At Perrinmere. Right, so I figured out how to drive that then. Well, I figured out how to drive it enough to do it in the stream anyway. Right, next is Falmouth Up Platform. Time to go. Let's get them out. I forget, was this the advanced? No, I don't think it is. No. But that's fine. Right, let's get moving. the baby dock tank and this dock tank is going to be used where it should be used Right, just letting it roll. Right, permanent distant is on, obviously, because it's a permanent distant. actually breaking for the 15 that's behind. I have no brake gauge for some reason. Okay, we've just got to go by feel of the engine then. Right, we're within the 15 limit anyway. And even with this hill we should stay there. He says. Uh yeah it is fair to assume that. I will I will run some diesel and electric um on stream. I do do quite often but we are just having fun. I've not driven some of these locos for a long time, so we are just doing that. Therefore, classic routes over the modern ones. Um, yeah, to some extent. It, it is that kind of thing. I mean, I will drive. I love driving the modern routes, but classic is is always good. Oops.
And and you, I find Steam more rewarding than uh, than diesel or electric. So, but uh, tomorrow we'll probably do diesel and electric. I'll stay away from Steam tomorrow. Hey, nice little whistle there. As we're coming into the platform. Uh, that's not good. Hold on. Somebody forgot to change the points. How far back have we got to go? This one. Oh dear, we've got to go back quite a way. Well, that's not my fault then. Five, oh dear. Right, let's let's stop the train again, put it into forwards. Away we go. Right, let's just check that we have a, a line now into the platform and down to the end. Yes we do. Good. I'm a Cravens driver. Right, and we chug. Let's get right the way down the end if we can. That should do. And open the doors at the back, please. Let everybody out. Uh, a Class 105, which has gears. He's a craven. Oh, excuse me. Right, after this we're going to go and do some shunting. Someone wanted to see some... Oh, it was Enmails, he's gone. Oops. Coach is now empty and you can reverse into Falmouth siding 3. Let's check that we're going to siding 3. It's there. What did I change? I changed that one. What's wrong? Why are we not going there? Uh, we have a follow, just give me half a second. Uh, let's find out who that was. Mr. Crafty TV, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the channel. We are 
at the moment shunting our consist back into that siding there. Let's release the brake and backwards we go. It's a Moggy Boggy Junior. Right, nice and steady back. Anyway, why are we here? We've come to watch the steam train. Not necessarily the coaches. It's the engine that's the interesting bit. Gosh, I would love to go and drive one. Love, love, love to go and drive one in real life. Right, we're entering the siding now, so we'll take a little bit of this speed off. And we've got to get down the far end to make sure that we are not going to crash. Uh, it's career scenarios that you get scored on. And I've not done any career scenarios tonight. Which means tomorrow night we'll do two nice career scenarios in either a diesel or an electric. Lovely, there's that. Right, we, I know that we're leaving the guards van behind, so let's put the brake on it. You have, oh you, yeah, yeah, I guess that Mr. Harrison, of course you have. Uncouple the coaches and proceed to the dockyard. Right, how many coaches did we have, two? Two. So that would be them two then. Coaches detached, you can now proceed to the Falmouth docks and drop off your wagons at number 16. Right, let's find out where number 16 is, shall we? Uh, show task. Dockyards, oh gosh, we've got to get to there. Okay. Uh, let's pause this a moment whilst we sort this out. So we're coming down here. Down here. Down there, down there. And into there, right, we've got to come around to here. So if we come along to here-ish and then we can come back to 16. It's the only way into 16 isn't it? Yes. Right so we've got to change that one, that one. That then brings us through. If we change that one we've got more of a run to come to there. Good. Excuse me a second. Oh, excuse me. Only, yeah, only DTG gives you points for your profile. Right, so let's, uh, let, let's go. Forwards. One of the things that I would like to do is make a scenario whereby various trains leave you, um, so like a train comes in here, leaves its consist and goes off to the shed or couples up to another train and disappears and you then have to um, shunt it all out. I thought of doing that like on the Kingmoor as well, up in the Kingmoor depot. Who doesn't have Western Lines of Scotland? It's one of the best routes. Right. Down the bank. So we just put a little bit of brake on. Let's just 
get some water in as well whilst we're coming down. And we can get a, a couple of shovels of coal on actually. Yeah, that'll do. Right. Just run away down that last little bit. What's a good route learning scenario for it? Oh, do a quick drive on it. I find quick drives are really good for route learning because they take you into the, the different uh, stations and all the stations then come up because obviously they're all stopping points. So do a quick drive and choose to stop at everything and uh, you can't go far wrong. Right, trundling down. And not only that, if you do a... Oh, gosh. If you do a quick drive... You can do it in whatever your favourite loco is and that way you don't even have to worry about dr driving the loco, you can pick whatever you want. So you can pick something that's easy to drive and just focus on learning the route. Right, let's uh, shunt that back. Where's that going? Around there, we need it to go into there. You have only DTG for the route as well, and only Steam. It, it, it whenever I I try out a new route, I go for 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 a loco that I'm familiar with, and um, a quick drive. And whenever I get a new a new loco, I go on a route that I'm familiar with and do a quick drive, just so then I can familiarise myself with it, unless it's something. Uh, Gosh, that's, that's really some lean. Um, un unless it's something quite simple, L like, uh, you know, a, a DMU, a modern DMU where it's, you know, push button and everything. You go steam locos on new routes, you do as a quick drive. Wish more. Um, the reason why I don't cage is just because I've got a lot going on on screen already. I mean, I could could take the chat down and, and put it there instead. Again, if 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 there's anything like that that you'd like to see as a as a subscriber, feel free to mention it in in Discord and we'll have a chat about it. Right, let's uncouple that. Let's uncouple that, thank you. Well, that's the goods wagon safely stowed away for the time being. Uh, let's put it in siding two for the next crew. Right, just got to be careful because we're light, we're light engine now and so it will go. I don't like that tilt. Just along the top left in a smaller font. 
Yeah, we'll have a chat about it. Me and the mods. See what we can do. on the blades, good. Right, I've got to reverse back up the hill. There we go, I'm back into siding three. Get a little bit of coal on just to make sure that we can get up that hill. We should be able to again with light engines. You usually use a diesel. Well, do, do a quick drive in a 37 then. have you got? We'll stick a 170 on it. They're fairly easy to drive. Nice and steady. I need to see this gradient. Are we on the gradient yet? Nope. We will be in a second though. We get the 15 now, don't we? There we go. Right, I just need to remember we've got something inside in three. So I don't want to go crashing into that. Right, let's just ease that off. Root scenario and loco name. I'll think about it. Right. Let's not stop on the blades. There we go. Technically, then we should come behind the signal, but like that. There we go. Now let's stop, and then we want siding two, which is change that one, and that takes us into siding two. Yeah, you you don't have a donation tick or chat. Might be worth just having a bit of a revamp, I think. Maybe have a have a move around of a few things.
Right, we're almost in the siding. It is a wonder why we didn't put it in the shed. There's a shed road up there. Right, let's get this ready to be stabled. get it to zero. Normally I can. Right, good work this morning driver. Another crew will arrive here shortly. Scenario complete. Lovely. Oh. You like my setup as well? Yeah. Just, it's it's been bugging me for a little while about um, where, where to put that. Well, we enjoyed that scenario. And that is me done.